Tell us about Lewis this morning. Well, Lewis is one of our animal ambassadors, and he is a really cool lizard called a prehensile tail skink. Sometimes they're also called a monkey tail skink. They are native to the Solomon Islands, and that's why a lot of people aren't familiar with them. But uh, Lewis here is about nine years old, and he got the name Lewis because he came to us from the St. Louis Zoo. Oh, okay. So he's an easy one to remember. Absolutely. And this is in uh, kind of the similar style family. We were talking like the iguana and the gecko type style. What separates Lewis from those type of animals, though? Um, there's a couple of different things, uh, body structure and then behavior and where they live. Unlike a lot of the other lizards that have the ability to drop their tail if they feel threatened, Lewis doesn't. So he has a So when you see somebody like, I've seen in a movie or something that a tail gets cut off and they regenerate, right. Lewis can't do that. Lewis can't do that. And that is because he lives up in the canopy of the rainforest. So he will actually use his tail as another hand. So if he's 50 feet up, he doesn't want that tail to detach. Okay. So his tail stays with him for life. And this is just an idea of some of the education programs that they offer down here at the Akron Zoo. Give us an idea of some of those. Well, we do a variety of programs. So we just wrapped up our summer zoo camp. So all of our counselors are resting now. We also have um, events where people can spend the night at the zoo. It's called Snooze at the Zoo. And then we also do outreach programs where we take our animals to schools, church groups, uh, rec centers, pretty much anywhere that you know people would like to come learn about the Akron Zoo and our wildlife. Perfect. Patty, thank you so much.